Now, from the worst to the first. The show was moving along with a certain ebb and flow to it. There were some calls that were a little bit soft coming out. I think people were a little bit nervous in the early going. We did have some good phone calls in the early going. And then all of a sudden, this guy explodes onto the scene. It changed the whole tone of the afternoon. After that, the faxes improved, the calls improved, and we finally had what felt like the great American smack-off. This changed everything. I think by now you all know there is no doubt. We have a new king of smack. He has the honor. I will award him with his own phone line briefly, but let's relive the moment. Earlier, this is now what we can call the... Hugh, 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 Hugh. Call of the year. Van Smack, what an honor to be a part of the first annual Great American Smack Off. Today, the jungle proves that there are a few Tarzans. The rest are a bunch of cheetah chimps who wish they had game like I. First off, Denver, I don't read my calls, I don't sing my smack, and I don't tolerate poems. I'm very aware that Kelly Rudy can die in between the pipes on any given night. I know that Piazza's the strongest man in SoCal, and I've come to hate the filth, which is the battery-chucking, water-hoarding, china doll worshiping no cows. But don't forget where my loyalty lies. The greatest city, the deepest tradition, and the best smack comes from New York and the bricks. When the earthquake hit, I didn't pick up the fish wrap to read about the damage. I looked to the box scores to see if the Knicks pulled out another gutty win. I have a passion to see Cal Ripken rupture a kidney this season than to see him break my beloved Lou Gehrig's record. Rome, I've made a lot of friends in the jungle. I'm psyched about that. So now all you rotisserie geeks can put your pens down. I'm not going to read you a top ten list of who I think has game. It's already understood. You know, when the strike went down, I didn't feel for the working stiff whose only job in life was to mop up the bathroom floor after I missed the urinal. Who cares about the 70-year-old grandma who serves beer at a pathetically slow pace so I have to miss two full innings of baseball? I felt for Don Mattingly, who was going to participate in his first postseason. Or how about the kids? Does anybody care about the kids who can name more Power Rangers than pro baseball players? When the Rangers won the Stanley Cup, after 54 years, you have no idea how I felt. It wasn't like the Raiders winning a preseason road game or the Cuervo Gold Beach Volleyball Championship. It's much bigger than that. It's a passion. It's my life. That's why I brought the word of the jungle to such great events as Mardi Gras and down under the Sydney, Australia, just to name a few. I can do this because I give my girlfriend cheap costume jewelry so I can road trip any time I want. I guess I need to touch base on the Raiders, the myopic Raiders, quickly. Basically, if they don't pick up a new owner in the draft, they're done. And the only thing Denver is going to accomplish in the next couple of years is losing people's luggage at that funky new airport. Today is a celebration of smack. Everybody in the jungle has different styles. I compare my experience to when I pledged my fraternity back in college. For the first few months, I was a punk who had to wait on hold and pick and choose my spots to smack. Now I feel like the pledge master who gets to spank the new plebes on the butt while they say, thank you, JT the Brick. Can I please have another? Was there any doubt? It changed the entire complexion of the first annual Great American Smack Off. May I present to you the new king of smack, JT the Brick. Brick, phenomenal effort. Vance Smack, thanks for getting me in the jungle. A monster win. I'm fired up. I'm fired up about a ton of things, but I'm fired up that I won this event. When you win the first of anything, it's big, and this will go down as a big event. Hopefully my smack will hold up in years to come. Brick, it was an ungodly blast. Let me ask you, Brick, go back in time. Charlie Simmer pitched you to win this whole thing. Did that fire you up? Were you inspired, Brick? I met Charlie four, four to close to five years ago when I first moved out here. Got to hang out with him a few times, kept in touch with him. When he came in, does anybody understand he has the record for most consecutive games in a row with a goal? Gretzky can't touch that record. No one's beat it. He's a monster in Southern California. He comes in out of nowhere, pats me on the back. It was huge. 
Now, Brick, you have to understand this. The thing that impresses me most about this call, you were matching up against all the legends. Everybody knew it would come down to this, but it was just one blast, one shot, single elimination, and Brick, you stepped up. To me, that was the key. In your moment, when everybody had a shot, you were the one that really went deep. I'm most impressed with you performing under pressure. Thanks, Red Smack, man. i got to thank my dad, who coached me every year for every year in succession since I've been five years old. All the bricks are here. Rocket, Jason, Delmar, Riley, H, and Jimmy B. It's a great event. They're all en route as we speak to come here. I will not smack anybody else. Some of the monsters in the jungle are unbelievable. They beat me on a regular basis. But I'm telling you, today I held up. I'm very proud of that. I want to thank Long Island, New York. I want to thank the New York Knicks. I want to thank everybody who I've ever met since I've been out here. I'm fired up. I will wear the crown respectably. I'm a good man to know, and I'm fired up that I won the first annual Smackathon. All right. Now, Brick, you are the king of smack for a one-year period beginning right now. I need to present to you your own phone line. Never again do you have to wait in line on the toll-free number. Never again do you have to wait in line, at least for a one-year period, on the San Diego, L.A. phone line. Write this phone number down. Commit it to memory. The women are out. They wasted the line. Nobody else can use this brick but you. 619-543-8070. For one year, it is the Brick Line. You have earned it. I am proud of you. It was an omnipotent scud. Brick, tremendous job. Thank you, Vance Mack. I will remember that number easier than I remember my social security number, my address, or my phone number. You're the man. Thank you for letting me into the jungle. I'm fired up, man. Let's keep it going. A big good Friday night for the Bricks and me. Thanks a lot, Vance Mack. May the Bricks party late into the night. The Super Bowl of Smack, the first annual Great American Smack Off goes to the brick. That's it. We are out. Outstanding. Have a great weekend. Glad it worked out. I want your reaction on Monday. Today's talk show produced by the Bulldog, Joe Titino. The brainchild of the Smack Off, Travis Rogers. Tucker, a man with a dream. He came up with it. Grover, engineered the program. We're out. Have a great weekend. This is the Noble Sports Radio Network. Spring is